friends, Sleepy here, and welcome to another episode of the Weekly Playlist. This is actually the very first episode for 2020, and it's been several weeks since the uh, last episode that I uh, uploaded. I just unfortunately have not had a whole lot of time uh, this year in January to film uh, one of these videos, as I have not been playing a whole lot of games. I mean, I've been playing a little bit here and there, but I just really haven't had a whole lot of time to devote to playing games because my store has been uh, really busy. I also had my birthday this month and was doing some game hunting with that. But as far as playing games, you know, I just did not have a lot of time as I've been working a lot. Just get our store ready for this remodel that's happening in the beginning of February. However, this week I finally got two days off together and I was able to devote some time to playing some games. And I'm going to share those games with you guys here today. I'm just going to refresh with you guys what the uh, series is, especially if you're new to the channel or have not checked out this series. Each week I go over the various games that I have been playing for different consoles and then I talk about those games and share my thoughts and opinions on each game with you guys and then of course I want to hear what your guys' thoughts and opinions are on the games I share with you whether you guys have played them before or not if you like them what you didn't like about them just to create uh, some discussions and stuff I'd also like to hear what games you guys have play, been uh, playing lately so please share the games you guys have been playing because it gives me uh, ideas of games to check out and if you have a recommendation on a title you think I should play for any kind of console, let me know because I do have almost all the main line consoles from Atari, NES, all the way up to Xbox One, PS4, and Nintendo Switch. So if you have a title you think I should check out, please let me know as I always like having recommendations. So we'll get started here. We'll um, start off with a couple of PSP titles that I've been playing. Uh, for Christmas, my wife got me a new battery for my PSP console. I have a PSP 1000 and a 2000 model, and both of the batteries on those are dead, which is known to happen to the PSP. You know, the batteries only last so long, and eventually they do die. Now, I know there are people who can uh, fix them, but I don't have the technical know-how to repair a battery. So I knew eventually I wanted to get a replacement battery. I just didn't know when I'd get it, and it kind of got pushed off. And my wife got me one for Christmas, and so I've finally been able to enjoy my PSP again because there was a lot of great games on that system, and there's a lot of titles I missed out on, and there's a lot of games I missed playing uh, just because I didn't want to have to be stuck sitting with a cord attached to it was the only way to play. So now that I have the battery in there, I can finally enjoy my PSP again, and I'm starting to enjoy PSP titles again. And this first one I am having an absolute blast with. And I highly recommend you guys pick it up if you're a fan of top-down action RPG games like Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. And that is Untold Legends Brotherhood of the Blade. And this is a Sony Online Entertainment uh, game. Wonderful title. You have uh, to choose from four different characters. You have a knight character, which is basically, you know, like your warrior type character. You have an alchemist, where she does like some magic attacks and science stuff. You also have a druid, which is kind of like a rogue character. You know, he's in one with nature and stuff, so he has some magic attacks as well. And then you also have a berserker, who is like another crazy, like, super warrior type of uh, character. But really cool game. Uh, you get a lot of variety of uh, enemies. And actually, read guys on the back here. It says there's over 100 levels. 110 unique monsters, so that's pretty cool. Over 110 to choose C, and I've seen quite a few. Obviously, I've not seen all 110 yet, but that's really cool. And then I said there's 40 quest adventures and then thousands of items. There are a lot of items that uh, drop, and you can also enchant uh, your weapons and your armor, which is really cool. You don't have to have any special abilities that I've known, at least, because I'm playing as the alchemist. Uh, I like her abilities and stuff, and I like playing as her. And you can't change... The uh, gender of the characters, though, so, like, the druid is a guy, the alchemist is a girl, the knight is a dude, and the berserker, I'm not sure if it's a man or a woman. I didn't actually go down and check that character out, just because I'm not into those kind of characters. I'm more into playing as a mage. You know, I love magic and stuff. Unfortunately, though, I do have to warn you guys, though, if you're like me and you're really big into the mages, you know, there's really not a mage class in this, even though some of these characters have uh, magic abilities. Most of them are using melee weapons and stuff and more about uh, combat. And they have like a little hint of magic, but they're not like completely dependent on magic. So I was a little disappointed in that. I was hoping they'd have a like a devoted mage character, but you know, it's all right. I don't have to have every single game as a mage, but I'm still 
still really enjoying it. Like the graphics are done really well. It's really fun. And what's really cool is you actually have uh, multiplayer in this. You can play with up. You can have up to four players as long as you have four copies of the game. Your PSPs will connect wirelessly, and you create a multiplayer game, and players can join. You can actually run through the game with four players, which is awesome. Uh, as the alchemist, I have actually unlocked the ability to create my own potions, which is key. Health potions, you know, in these kind of games, are definitely a must. Uh, there's different ways to uh, block, and I do recommend if you do play the game, make sure you check out the manual that comes with the game. Because I was not able to figure out all the controls, and so I went into the manual and looked up and found out how I can make the map bigger, how I can rotate the map, how you can actually block in the game, because I didn't know. You know, you have to hold certain combinations, because of course, the PSP doesn't have twin sticks, so it is limited on controls. And so with that console, you know, you have to hold some, like hold R and push the square button to make the map bigger, or hold the... Um, the R button down so you can actually rotate the map instead of moving your character. So, you know, there's some little commands and stuff like that. So definitely for checking out the manual and reading through it is very key to uh, games. And I like to do that with uh, older games, especially is check out the manual. Give it a little read before I play through just to get an idea, feel of the game and how the game actually controls. Because it goes a long way into being better at playing the game when you know how to actually control it. And you don't die trying to figure it out because not all games have great tutorials in the game. I mean, this one tells you stuff. But you can actually miss it or forget about it. And then, you know, it's great to refresh yourself with the manual. So I definitely recommend uh, reading it. I'm looking forward to uh, beating this one. Not sure how far into the game I am. But I have been playing for several hours. And I absolutely am in love with this game. I also do have the sequel to this, which I want to beat after I beat this one. Highly recommend if you guys have PSP. Pick up Untold Legends Brotherhood of the Blade. Wonderful game. There's tons of side quests to do. There's missions, you know, the main story stuff. Lots of cool characters. It's all pretty much voice too, and the voice acting is done really well. Nice variety of weapons and armor to choose choose from. And like I said, you know, over 110 enemies to fight, which is really cool. And it does have a great story. So definitely recommend you guys check out Untold Legends Brotherhood of the Blade. And the next two I'm going to share with you are actually games I got for my birthday because in January I had my birthday on the 14th, turned 35. And so I got some uh, gifts here. And one of these is for the PSP. I never played this game before. It just looked really cool. So I had picked it up. My brother grabbed it for me uh, when he came up here to visit with me. And that was a copy of Kingdom of Paradise for PSP. And it says it's a Sony computer entertainment game. So obviously Sony published game. And this is a fun game action rpg game defend your clan restore the world so they're the, so the peaceful world of akua and it's five martial art or five yeah five martial clans are uh disrupted when the kirin clan brutally attacks to gain absolute power as shinbu a warrior once considered an outcast use your deadly swordsmanship skills to avenge your clan's decimation and restore balance of uh, powers and this game is fun because it's an action RPG. So that's not, you know, turn-based game, but an action RPG, an action adventure type title. And it's really fun. And I'm having a blast with it. I wasn't sure about it. I checked out a couple of videos when I was in the store and it just looked fun. And so I was glad uh, that I picked this up. The voice acting is also done really well in the game. You know, they got good people. It's not really cheesy or anything. And I like the uh, design of the characters. The graphics are look well. The world is beautiful. And it is uh, quite large, as I've noticed. I'm not sure how many quests there are. But definitely uh, is a game I think you guys should uh, check out. And it's a fairly cheap title, too. Online, they were going for, like, around $10, $15. So not, like, too high of a price. But it's one that I'm looking forward to putting some more time into with this and that... Uh, untold legends game you know my psp has been getting a lot of play through lately and this is one i think you guys uh, should check out if you guys have ever played before uh let me know but i'm really liking the story there's all kinds of different clan techniques you have your earth your water fire metal and certain uh clans are better against other clans and you actually can learn other clans' abilities so you can fight uh, the other clans and have a, a strategic advantage over them, which I think is really cool. So the game does have, you know, some kind of, like, magic aspects to it. Uh, it has chi, which is the energy 
that's always in these type of uh, oriental games and then there's also some scrolls and stuff which you can unlock different moves with your uh, sword attacks and different armor you can find which I haven't found a whole lot but I have been collecting a lot of money which is definitely key and then I have been picking up some health orbs and they're like they're like kind of like health potions that I'll use in the game that do different things and pretty much so far I've noticed like every enemy you kill they at least drop some kind of money or they drop uh, materials which you can use to craft stuff and you can buy things in the uh, town which is a lot of different people to interact with and so far it's a really cool game i'm not sure how many different like quests are available besides the main story but i am having a blast with this and i definitely plan to play this one here for the next uh few weeks so I'll definitely recommend you guys check out kingdom of paradise great game for the psp and it's a fairly cheap game and absolutely think you guys will enjoy it especially if you like adventure games you know real-time combat that kind of thing check it out and give it a try and then, last game here is for Xbox One. I actually just got this recently. It was also another uh, game I got for my birthday, and I'm so happy I got this. Is This is extremely rare to get physical copy-wise. Uh, I've actually taken a small break now from uh, Tokyo Extreme Racer 3 for the PS2. I haven't played it at all in the last couple weeks. just wanted to take a break from that game because it was consuming uh, my gaming time. So I said, oh, I'll put it aside for a little while so I can play some other games and enjoy them. And this one I was so happy to get. This was a recommendation from my good buddy Dean over at Escape to Gaming. And that was Terminator Resistance. And I got this for the Xbox One. It was also released for PS4 and on PC. I think it was on uh, Steam. This was supposed to come out, I think, in November. And then it was supposed to come in December. And then it got delayed to January 7th. And I picked this one up on January uh, 25th. Now, I had originally pre-ordered... Or not pre-ordered, geez. I had originally went on to eBay to look for a copy. There was like six copies. People wanted 70, 80, 110 dollars for a copy. <laughs> I wasn't going to pay that much for this game. You know, I wanted to just pay the normal retail price. And so I went to GameStop and found out, you know, oh, they only had two or three copies. And supposedly like no, none of the GameStops in the air really had any. They were like 50 miles away. And so I decided I was going to go on GameStop's website. And it said they had them in stock. And when I ordered it, you know, I waited and because I had actually ordered that earlier in the week, like the 22nd or so, and waited and waited. And by the time the 25th came, you know, I just had a thing saying pending waiting product availability. And it says, unfortunately, we might not be able to fulfill this product because they were having a hard time finding an actual copy. So I was a little disappointed. So I started searching on GameStop's website and I happened to find that a GameStop store I used to go to that was about 20 some minutes, it was about 15 miles from the house, I actually had one copy left. I called up the dude. And he's like, yeah, let me check. He's like, you know, our system sometimes messed up about it. And he found it. It was actually there. So I was super happy about that. And I picked it up. So Terminator Resistance is a first-person shooter set in the Terminator universe. And it takes place actually before the first two Terminator movies. And it is done really well. Now, there's been, you know, the, it was, like, critically, like, hated. You know, people were like, oh, it's a terrible game. Everybody was jumping on the bandwagon, hating it. But if you're a fan of Terminator, you absolutely love it. And actually, some of the uh, bigger YouTubers, like Rad Brad and stuff, actually were playing the game, and they actually really enjoyed it and have been praising it. And so people have actually started to turn around and enjoy it and are wanting to buy a copy. However, if you want to get a physical copy, you know, I have to warn you, it's extremely rare. Like, I got the only copy in that area at a, at a GameStop and it was only because the dude canceled his pre-order and they only had three copies. I looked on Best Buy's website, no copies within 400 miles, Walmart's no copies, Target's no copies, uh, Amazon said for PS4 they were, it would take one to two months before them to get a restock. They did say they had a few Xbox One titles. There are some on eBay but you know you gotta pay the 65 70 some dollars and of course you have to pay tax now that ebay charges you tax but it is definitely a game that i am looking forward to playing it's the terminator kind of game i have been waiting years to get you know i have the lot it's you know it was made by fans and for fans so fa they were you know these people that made this this studio were fans of the terminator movies and you can really see it in the terminator's design the music they have actually from the movies which is awesome. It plays during uh, the game and during certain scenes and stuff. 
I think the voice acting is done uh, fairly well. Now, the graphics aren't the best in the world, but they're not as bad as people make them out to be. You know, I mean, I just have my 1080p TV, and they still look great in the game, you know. And graphics don't have to be everything, as long as you have a fun gameplay. Because you can have a very beautiful, visually beautiful game, best graphics in the world, and it has terrible gameplay. <laughs> I don't want to play the game. I'm not going to play something that's terrible, has crappy frame rates or anything like that. And, you know, because it wasn't a AAA studio, you know, they didn't have the huge budget to go to the greatest graphics, but they still did a decent job. It's telling a great story, and I'm having an absolute blast with this game. Several different uh, weapons, and there's a nice variety of uh, Terminators that you actually run into. Different small ones and bigger ones, bosses and stuff that you battle. And then you also get to make decisions with the characters you run into. And those decisions will actually affect the game and will affect your endings. You have to choose how you are to people, whether you're nice to them or you're a dick to them, can just determine the uh ending and i know i heard that there's multiple endings i know some people went through and beat it like crazy <laughs> already heard some people and it's only been out since the seventh now me when i play games you know i take my time especially in this one uh, i recommend because when you're in the areas you can explore and that's where you can find your collectibles and you can find uh materials and stuff i know my buddy dean said when he first played he kind of skipped all that and was just playing it like a normal first person shooter and he realized he kind of screwed himself up because you need like upgrade parts and you need stuff from killing enemies and so he had to restart his whole game after watching some playthroughs of it and some tip videos and so that's the one thing i'll definitely let you guys know that when you play this game do not rush through it make sure make sure you search every nook and cranny empty buildings and around cars and stuff because there's a lot of uh, scrap stuff lying around and things you can trade with uh, people so you can actually buy stuff you need and you can also use the materials you find to craft stuff like med packs you can craft your own uh, ammo you can craft uh lock picks that you can use to unlock stuff and then for collectibles and here's another tip once you leave a main area you cannot return to it so any of those collectibles and that stuff you leave behind is gone forever that's another thing people had found out so Definitely recommend don't leave the area until you've thoroughly uh, scoured the whole area looking for everything because there are secrets you can unlock and stuff. Things you can unlock that you might not go to that are off the beaten path. And I recommend killing as many enemies as you can because they have useful resources you can loot from their bodies. So I try to kill all the enemies that I can, you know, within reason. Now the AI in this uh, isn't the greatest in the world, but it's not the worst either. <clears throat> You know, I feel like they act like how they should. And on the easier difficulties, the game can be really, really easy. So, you know, if you're someone that wants a challenge, I do recommend putting it on uh, hard. And then they have like a, a harder difficulty, uh, which I'm not sure what that what that actually is called right now. And I'm currently just playing on uh, normal just because I had just started the game out. I went through the very beginning of the game. So the very first area where it introduces you. Uh, to the world has a little bit of tutorial meet some characters and stuff then you guys leave the area and then you continue from there where you can actually have more freedom to do stuff and that's all i got to play and i played about an hour and 20 minutes in that first one which i know some people beat it in like 10 minutes but i was exploring the world and i am absolutely in love with this game this is actually my favorite game of 2020 so far like this is the terminator game i have always wanted for years i wanted to be able to play you know a terminator game that was fun and that was uh set in you know in the future world and it was done well and was like a love letter to terminator fans and this is that game for you i just have to warn you though if you want to get a physical copy like me uh just know that it's gonna be tough as it had an extremely small print run this one on xbox one and ps4 it's definitely gonna be one of the rarest games ever released for xbox one and ps4 at this time only because there's been so few copies uh, created. Now, of course, you can get it easily digitally, but physically, it's a tough game to get. And I don't know if they're going to really, you know, flood the market with a bunch of these. These kind of games, they don't. Kind of like Titan Quest, you know, that had a small print run for physical. So, you know, these small physical titles from um, small developers, recommend buying them when you can early on because you're no guarantee that you're going to find a used copy down the road. So I you know, didn't want to wait. <laughs> And I wanted to uh, help support the devs and stuff because these are the kind of games I love. It's a single player game. 
and I want to be able to help support the studio. So definitely recommend you guys check out Terminator Resistance. I am looking forward to beating this one. I'm definitely going to take my time with it, so I'll probably be sharing this one for the next uh, several weeks. But it is a wonderful title I think you guys should check out, especially if you guys are a fan of Terminator games. This game is awesome. So, do our quick little recap. I talked about uh, Untold Legends Brotherhood of the Blade. This is a wonderful top-down, isometric action RPG for the PSP that plays similar to games like Boulder's Gate Dark Alliance. I did just warn you, have to warn you guys, though, that there's not really any like dedicated mage characters. So if you're like me and you like to play mage characters, you know you're not going to really find one of those. But you still have a nice variety of the four different characters to uh, choose from, and you can upgrade their abilities the way you want to. And it is a wonderful title with 110 different enemies to fight, different quests, and thousands of items to, uh, items to find. And it's a great game. I think you guys should check out. We also talked about Kingdom of Paradise. This is a fun action-adventure RPG game that is uh, done really well. has great voice acting. I like the characters. I really am enjoying the story. I like the combat. It's fluid in the game and does well. Really like it. <clears throat> and there are... You know, some magic stuff with the chi and stuff that you can learn. And it is a wonderful title. I think you guys should check out. And then the last one we talked about was Terminator Resistance for P uh, for uh, Xbox One. It's also on PS4 and the PC. And if you're a huge fan of Terminator like I am, this is a game for you. Great story. And it's really fun to be able to fight Terminators in a game that uh, I think is one of the best Terminator games they've ever made. So don't listen to the... You know, all the big critics who were shitting on the game and jumping on the bad because they actually didn't give it a try. You know, they just saw, oh, yeah, it sucks. And everyone just jumped on that bad way. You know, give it a try. So let me know if you guys have played either of these three games, what your thoughts and opinions are on them. Of course, I'd like to hear what games you guys have been playing lately. And if you have a recommendation on title I think I should check out, please let me know. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Take care. Have a wonderful day and sleepy. We'll see you guys next time.